Okay, so that was the uh, drop test on this Mark VI Soprano that I'm overhauling. This horn came in, had the original factory pads. As you can see, it's uh, pretty much dead mint condition. Uh, that test is really only viable if the key fitting is really super tight because when you do engage the springs, it can flex and that can change things. But, you know, I pride myself on my key work. Um, you know, I can actually move. You know, the saxophone is moving before the keys are actually moving uh, between the posts. So now I'm going to take off these uh, keys, which, you know, again, I showed you that just with gravity, they are sealing perfectly all the way around from all angles and show you what the original factory tone holes look like on this instrument. taken the right hand that you shop off these are uh, perfectly level steel discs and uh, let's see what we've got for tone holes so let me get this down here hard to do with one hand here we have uh, F sharp F E and D we were just looking at the F E and D that's the tone hole That's the tone hole and the D. Let's see, it's pretty bad. Let me flip it over. So again, we have F, E, and D. Here's the back. You see that? It's the E. Not quite as bad. And the D. Wow. Now that's from the factory. Just food for thought. Okay, last thing I'll do is just show you the pads off the instrument in the key cup. So you can get an idea for the thickness. Also, the impression that I'm putting in them, uh, which is referred to as the seat. Um, this ring here, which represents where it's actually sealing over the tone hole. Again, going for making things as even as possible in terms of that ring and uh, the overhang or the amount of pad that's actually sticking out of the tone hole itself, which I think the more even that is, the more even all of this is, the better and uh, more solid the saxophone is going to feel under the fingers. There you go.